All right, let's take a look at some of our footage from practice tonight. Um, one thing I notice here with our starts, we are setting up so close to the line that uh, if you need to burn off any speed, you don't really have anywhere to go, right? So, you know, at 30 seconds, everybody's on the line, you know, like a half a boat length away. Uh, I think we're seeing the same thing here, right? So, I mean, look at Connor's already over. You look at Mason, Connor, Sammy. Right now, um, can't see who's behind there. You know, everybody's already on, on, on the line. Um, you know, you want to really, I really want to try to work on Sammy, you're uh, over right now. coming in on port tack, okay. tacking into a hole, starting on starboard with enough room to burn so you can bear off, get your boat going, and go. Uh, if you notice, Ed came in a little bit later and had a little more uh, space to burn, and he had the best start. Uh, let's take a look here at our lured mark roundings. Uh, we worked on starts and lured mark or starts and mark roundings mostly in practice today. Uh, let's watch Balin round the mark here. So one thing I notice, and this is kind of hard in the ladies because it's such a, a, main, a large main sheet, but you want to try to trim the main the exact right time, right? So he trimmed in just a little bit too early. And you'll see Mason, the main was just barely, barely luffing as he's going around. That was probably just about perfect. Uh, and you have to practice that timing. So if, if your main's luffing a lot, you're trimming in too late. And if your telltales are really dropping, then you're trimming in uh, too early. Let's watch Vinny uh, jive around the mark. I think this was a nice one, if I remember correctly. Yeah, hike it, hike it. Yeah. The only thing I would say is uh, you really got to work on that arm over arm, keeping your, you should be trimming the main end. It looks like Connor did it too, and Sammy's Sammy, doing it too. In too early. So she trimmed in a little early. Don't the other thing it. is you need to, uh, your, your hand should be going up as high above your head as you can to trim in this 44, sheet of main, 44 feet of main sheet. Um, yeah, so let's check out this women mark around here. Okay, I like how they're approaching the mark, uh, especially uh, keeping the boat flat. And then once we get around the mark to the offset, we're, we're easing all of our sail controls. And then one thing I'd like to see a little more of is heal our boat to windward as we're rounding the offset and really help yourself turn down. Watch Ed here at number 14. I believe he probably does this. Let's take a look here. Nope, I guess not. I guess I cut it off too soon. Uh, let's watch this mark rounding and see if we uh, we accomplish that. So let's watch Balin here. Okay, so he did heal the boat to windward, uh, and I talked to him about this. I remember what happened is that the main sheet got tangled, right? So we really need to make an effort to clear the main sheet before we get around the mark, right? There's like, I don't know, 38 feet of main sheet sitting in the bottom of your boat so it's it's not the easiest task to make sure it doesn't get tangled but it's very important because if you can't get your main out all the way you're not going to exit the mark uh cleanly let's watch another one this is ed coming around here and notice he really uh offset i think he forgot about the offset but you see how he was healing the boat to windward to turn it around i'm sure he's going to do it around the offset here too Nice. See how he healed the boat to windward to turn down, and the mainsail came out super fast, right? He eased his uh, sail controls off on the offset. That was a that was amazing mark rounding. Uh, so that's a really good example of what you want to do. That's like textbook right there. Windward heel around that mark. Get the main out and heal the boat. Yeah, so I think... Balin, the main's going to come out a little quicker. It's going to want to jibe. So... Um, I think I talked to Balin afterwards, and the main sheet got, got tangled again. It wasn't that he didn't know to get it out. It just it got tangled. And that's, it's easy to happen in a laser. There's a lot of main sheet there. Um, you know, if you want to jive around the mark, I think that's okay. But I think in that instance, it probably wasn't. Heal your boat to windward. Dive the boat down. Uh, get sailing downwind uh, with the wind direction. I don't think the jive was necessarily the move. Okay, let's watch this telltales. That was a pretty nice rounding. You know, maybe just a little less windward heel. Obviously, as we're rounding the, the leeward mark, we want to have just a just a tad windward heel. But in the lasers, when there's any breeze, 
Uh, you know, too much heel is just no good. Uh, so just a little bit of, 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 of sorry, leeward heel going around the, the leeward mark to help the boat turn up a little bit. But, you know, we're talking maybe 10 degrees. All right. And then I think the last mark rounding of the night that I videotaped was a good example of Ed jibing uh, a little bit wider of the mark so you can exit the mark cleanly. Uh, let's follow Sammy here upwind. Uh, one thing I notice is, um, and, and we talked about this, so I think I think it's going to be easy. I think Sammy is feathering just a little too much. You'll notice the front of that sail breaks quite a bit. Um, you know, that's probably a little high in the groove. You want to probably be the point where your telltales are streaming back and every once in a while, maybe in the lulls, both sets of telltales stream back. Um, this is an example of we want to ease when the uh, the puff hits. Just heel, puff hits, he heels over, powers it down. But as he heels it over, uh, the boat starts to slide sideways, and that's not fast. So look at uh, I think this might be Ed here. Yeah. So look at how flat Ed is is sailing the boat there, right? Um, he would probably be sitting a little farther forward, but I know he's sailing with a broken tiller extension, so. Um, That was a really nice tack, by the way, as well. So that's a good example of a nice tack. Uh, following Balin and Mason upwind here, uh, I'll tell you what, this is a great example. They're both sailing really fast, but if you'll notice, uh, Balin, who's in front here, uh, bow out, he's just a little bit flatter. He's got that sail a little flatter. His sail's a little old. He really had to crank on the, the sail controls to get it there. He's got his sail a little bit more depowered, and he's sailing the boat just a little bit flatter, and especially in the puffs, he's keeping it a little flatter, and you can really see him extend on Mason a little bit. Uh, and then Mason here, you can see those wrinkles. That's a good indication that you need more uh, Cunningham pulled on. Now, he had a little bit of an equipment issue. I think he certainly knows that. But, and especially in the full rig, if you're too blocked and you see those wrinkles in the front of the sail, pull those wrinkles out with the Cunningham. Uh, pull on the Cunningham until those wrinkles are gone or almost completely gone. And that'll pull the draft of the sail forward. Uh, it's super fast in a laser. Uh, I think that's all I have for today. Um, I'm going to try to make one of these videos for every practice, so uh, do me a favor and uh, make an effort to stay tuned if you can. Thanks, y'all.